Welcome. This video covers Cosmos DB availability and timeouts. Let's begin with service unavailable and timeouts. Service unavailable, HTTP status code 503 and timeouts, HTTP status code 408, are errors that indicate connectivity issues between your application and the service. In a distributed system, transient connectivity errors can occur and your application should be resilient to a low volume of timeouts or service unavailable errors by having retry policies in place. When investigating availability, connectivity, or timeout related issues, the first step is to measure the impact. Start by asking these three key questions. One, have I set up adequate retry policies? Two, what percentage of requests are failing? Three, are all instances of my application impacted? All applications should have retry policies to help you handle transient timeouts and service unavailable errors. The Cosmos DB SDKs automatically retry on transient failures for read operations, but write operations are not indempotent and you should add custom application logic to help guide your decision on how to best retry. To assess the impact of these errors in your application, go to the Monitoring Insights blade in the Azure portal where you can see the total requests in your account for each hour. The total requests by status code chart helps you measure the volume of successful requests happening in your account. If the errors detected make up less than 1% of your total requests in an hour, having the retry policies in place should mitigate the impact. In addition to looking at the total number of errors, it's important to determine how many of your application instances are experiencing failures. If only a subset of your instances are experiencing errors, it's likely due to a resource constraint limited to those environments. The most common reasons for timeouts and connectivity problems within a machine are high CPU and limits on the number of open connections. High CPU can be identified by measuring the max CPU, not the average, around the time you're experiencing the issue. This image shows how to measure high CPU in AKS by going to the Insights blade in the Azure portal. Other Azure Compute environments will have similar ways to measure high CPU in their Insights blades. High CPU will cause network connections to timeout. If the high CPU pattern overlaps with the time your application was affected, investigate the source of high CPU consumption through process dumps. If the cause of high CPU is a higher than normal volume of operations, consider scaling up your compute environment. All compute environments have a limit on the number of open connections they can accommodate. When the number of connections reaches this limit, new connections can't be opened and operations begin to time out. This is called SNAT port exhaustion and most compute environments produce metrics that identify this scenario. The most common cause of high connections is applications not following the singleton pattern, meaning a single Cosmos client for the lifetime of the application. So, make sure you aren't creating multiple clients or destroying and creating clients continuously. For compute environments with very low connection limits, using the client in gateway mode is a valid alternative. Gateway mode uses fewer connections overall than direct mode because the client doesn't connect directly to each backend partition, but goes through the Cosmos gateway instead. Finally, make sure the required ports for the desired connectivity mode are open and available. Blocked ports generate service unavailable errors. When you investigate connectivity issues, ensure you have proper retry policies in place. Measure the percentage of failed requests and the number of application instances affected to determine the impact. This enables you to rule out any common problems in your environment that could be causing issues. Please see our troubleshooting guides for more information. Thanks for your efforts. We hope the information in this video has been helpful to you.